Welcome back, guys, to another Modern Cube Draft here on WileyWeasels.uk. I am going to take... I like Scarab God, I like Mole Drifter, I like Crater Hoof. <laughs> Frank putting on an English clinic, fantastic. Uh, I also like Thraggy, but I think if we're going to take a green card, it's going to be this, this big piece of junk. Kiki's Jiki's Carab God, I think it's, yeah, it's one of these thick boys, right? Oh, Gideon's just terrible. Terrible, Julian, terrible. He's not bad. I just don't think, I think he's very medium in this cube. I think Crater Hoof. I, I like Scarab God more than I like Crater Hoof, to be quite honest. I want to take Scarab God. I like Scarab God more. Plus this pack. Pff, pff, pff. I like Cyclonic Rift a lot in this cube. Seven mana is pretty easy to get to. And being able to bounce all of their things. Everything they've ever loved is pretty good. Uh, Tasty Syrup, unfortunately, I will not be in Toronto. I haven't gone to a GP in... God, probably a year. I think the last GP I went to was Grand Prix Vegas last year. It's just not um I don't get I don't get enough value out of GPs. Like I I say this so I say, I say this a lot. So for some of you guys you're probably hearing it again. Um it takes a lot of effort to like travel to a GP, to arrange travel, to arrange like to take off time from doing work, uh to book a hotel to you know grind days of i think it's actually mortal sun over watery grave and we can just play around planeswalkers so yeah it's just i mean like i have more fun i would for the for the weekend of the gp i would actually have more fun staying at home and streaming some magic online or something so yeah based on our previous mana uh issues i think ulamog is actually pretty easy to cast here I think it's either Knight's Whisper. Draw two cards, lose two life. Draw three cards, lose three life. So. I like Obstructionist. You like Distended Mindbender? I could actually see Mindbender being good here. Let's try Mindbender. We don't play Mindbender nearly enough. And uh, the thing about Mindbender is that you can get a lot of cheaper guys in the blue, the blue black deck. I like Doomblade, but I like Ruinous Path more. It kills anything and it kills Planeswalkers, which is extremely relevant. Cost will we? What was cost? I forgot. Oh, ambitions cost? Yeah, I don't care about either of those. Time to make something controlling. It goes plenty of time to dirtle. Thank you, Dave. Thank you so much for the the, uh, the cheers. You old son of a bit, you. <laughs> no offense intended. That was just a joke. Bunch of little creatures also work pretty good with the Immortal Sun and the God. Yeah, this is this is what I mean. Like, just let's take some guys that are cheap, like some Night Veil Specters and some Essence Scatter is a card I'm not likely to pass. This is a very good creature removal spell. And it puts a guy in a graveyard for my Scarab God. I like Sword of Feast and Famine, but I found the swords are not as impressive in this cube. Uh, I don't play a, enough EDH to have an opinion on... I like... So we've had this... I've had this conversation before, too. I like Commander a lot. I think it's a cool format. But for me, the decisions aren't important enough. Each individual decision in a game is not important enough for me to really be able to get into it. And it's also very hard to keep up with. Like, I, I, I have friends who have, like, 40 Commander decks. And I'm just like... How do you keep up with this? so many cards plus like we had a we had a conversation yesterday where where like one of the big problems is that like we'll look through our, our constructed stuff like our modern cards our standard cards and be like oh dang it i only have two scarab gods what the heck oh wait one isn't an edh deck or one isn't a cube or you know whatever and uh it's just a yeah this is a guy's playable it's just a funny way to, to misplace cards and think you have more than you have i got some pork chops and brussels sprouts what's a brussels sprout Me, oh, I gotta eat me Brussels sprouts.
give me one second between this pick. I gotta go. I gotta go grab something real quick. You guys can, you guys can mull over the pick while I have the breakup. You can probably, probably see the cards still between the thing. Give me two seconds. All right, we came back. Hypnotic Spectre. That's a good guy. I'll sacrifice a Hypnotic Spectre for a Distended Mindbender. I actually have, like, the last tray of aligners in right now. They weren't in before. Now they are, so... If I sound a little bit different, that is why. Delver, because I'm all about that life. Tom to Tom Tom? Never. Never be Delvin. Ooh. Ooh. I want to take this Underground River. I think it's the correct pick, but Massacre Room has won so many games. I think it's Underground River. Eh. Wow. <laughs> okay. Eh, ambitions cost. I might even play the ambitions cost. Three cards is three cards. And in this cube, cards are cards, buddy. All right. Well, the white is clearly open. Some played Silent Departure against us, and it was actually surprisingly good. So I would not be surprised if we actually, like, could play Silent Departure and not feel terrible about it. Oh, I know Jace. This guy's pretty good to, to sacrifice with uh, Distended Mindbender, though. I also kind of like Phyrexian Arena. We haven't played a Phyrexian Arena yet. Is Phyrexian Arena better than Griffwing Cloudscape? We also didn't get the Watery Grave, unfortunately. I think we actually have, we have Immortal Sun and Ambitions Cost so far, so I think we're actually okay on card advantage. I think I just want some, some creatures. Especially with Scarab God. Disfigure Moloku. Elspeth does not have art. Some Planeswalkers have art, some don't. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Never Return. I don't ever mind having more Ruinous Path abilities. I think Ramp is strong, but I don't think Ramp is as strong in these colors. Like, uh, in, 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 not, not this, I didn't, that's not what I meant. I don't think Colorless Ramp is that strong in these colors. I have to sneeze. Give me one second. It's going to happen. <coughs> Oh, I'm going to take Solemn Simulacrum here. I like this allow, but I'd rather have the Solemn. Whew. Whew. Vizier of Many Faces OP. I'm going to take that. I 
I think all counter spells are good in this cube. So you will find me in strong agreement with that. I'm going to take Nighthawk here. But being able to just copy a guy like a Riffling Cloud Skate or a Solemn Simulacrum is really strong. Also, that pack was great. I would not mind if Search for Azkanta or Vampire Nighthawk came back, but I do not see that happening, so. Wow, that was loud. The Shadows, 17. Thank you so much, man. Why did that get so loud? That was weird. Black Sun Zenith. Oh, Torrential Gear Hulk. Oh, Glenlanger Archmage. All right, so what are our instants? We got Essence Scatter and Cyclonic Rift. That's pretty much it right now. That doesn't seem great. I think it's actually Glenlanger Archmage here. Also, it leaves us open to draw any Titans that we might have. I'm just going to take Glenlanger. I like how JC said Glenn and then Music Manly said Alendra. Glenn, Alendra. Got it. You guys are helping each other out there. When I say Glenn, you say Alendra. All right, here it is. Here's the Crystal Shard time. We're going to play some Crystal Shard and see how it goes. You guys ready? Also, we can bounce things like Glenn Lenger when she's about to die. We can bounce Riffling Cloud Skate and replay it. All right, let's do it. Someone's going to say Gifts Ungiven. And then they're going to be like, you should play Gifts Ungiven. It's so good. I'm going to be like, no, I'm good. I hate it. I'll take it because there's literally nothing else in that pack. But I hate it. I'm just not a big Gifts Ungiven fan. It's draw two. It's draw two random cards, basically. Especially in cube where you can't really... Uh, you can't really engineer what you get, right? Like, I guess if you have four removal spells, you can get two removal spells, you know? It's possible. Okay, so no beats. Let me tell you something about Brown Town in the modern cube. Um, so, because modern is a more recent format... <laughs> I mean, I would love to get a, a Skin Render or a Ravenous Chupacabra. Pref preferably a Chupacabra. I think it's just Opt here. Rights is in the cube, sure, but um, we don't have white mana. So I'm not going to really bank on having a white mana to play my Gifts Ungiven to get, to get Unbarrel Rights. Yeah, Maloku's fine. Sure. Might even play Maloku. It's been a long time. You sure repeat it for the people on YouTube, just in case they get really annoyed at the dick in the chat who keeps asking from Brown Town. Um, I think they get the joke. That's why I'm hoping I'm hoping they get the joke. The, so the black and blue cards do not seem open at all but the cards we're getting are still pretty good Not great, but I'll take it. We only have like one counter spell, right? I actually have Glenlanger Archmage. Eh, this guy's actually playable, I guess. Can you explain to me what Crystal Shard means? It confuses. What do you mean what it means? Specify what you mean, Matthew. Ari. A card means what it says it means. It says it right on the right on the card. I don't understand. Where's all our fixing? I don't like, I'm not comfortable with one underground river especially when we know oh, there we go that's what we were hoping for you just pay three or pay blue right you can activate it two different ways i do not think that means what you think it means
Anyway, taking Grave Titan. There we go. And there's nothing great in this pack except for Eventor. I think we take. I think we can. We can uh, take the the drawn catacombs here. So if they play a creature, they have four mana. They play a three mana creature, right? You can crystal shard at the end of their turn. They'll pay one. You can untap and then crystal shard it again to bounce it. So they have to keep like two extra mana per creature. Or like I said, you can just bounce your own guys, and that's cool too. Tidings. Messenger wheels, but I'm probably not taking triple black, unfortunately. Like, this is not a deck where I'm playing triple black cards. I think it's either Packrat or Tidings. We have Ambitions cost. I think Packrat's probably game winning. Fetid Pool. All right, that's good. That'll help. I would like to pick up a, Yeni a Yeheni's Expertise. I also kind of like Liliana when we have Distended Mindbender. But I'm not one to look a gift fixing in the mouth, so. I actually think Tetsamok is hot garbage. Gifted Aetherborn or Supreme Will. Ooh. Supreme Will goes good with Barrel. Gifted Aetherborn goes good with anything. I think I like having the hard counter a little better. And this is our... Wow. Ultimate Price and Murderous Cut. It's really good. I like that we, we actually conveniently don't have any Planeswalkers here. As an English major, can you explain to me what tidings means? <laughs> oh, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. I'm going to take Murderous Cut here. I'm going to cut the Maloku. I'm going to Murderous Cut the Maloku. God, really? Really? I think it's just Sower. Sower is actually better than Jace anyway, stupid Jace. I don't, I don't want Jace because we have Immortal Sun, basically. That's what it comes down to. It's a non-bow, and I think Sower is almost just as good, especially because we have Scarab God to reanimate it, and we have a Vizier to copy it. And we have... Uh, that's pretty much it, I guess. Now i got to make one cut here as far as uh, Silent Departure can go. However, the tempo you get from Silent Departure is pretty solid. I might actually cut Opt instead. Wow. Murderous Cut and Tragic... Oh, Sheldock Isle. That means we don't have to find uh, a spot for this. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll just play Shell Dock Isle. Well, I think Shell Duck Isle is less appreciated in this cube than it is in, like, the Legacy or Vintage cubes because there's less, like, broken things you can do with it. Like, you can't get an Emrakul with it. But still, I'll put a free spell under there. I don't have a problem with that. I wish the Tidings did come back. I'd rather play that than lose three life Tidings. Porcelain Legionnaire is the guy we can actually potentially play, and there's... Friggin' six white cards in that pack. Come on. Go boy XL. I don't I don't know how to even get media credentials, and I don't even know where you are to go to that Avengers Infinity War screening, but I would definitely come if I could. Huh. Messenger did come back, by the way. So wait, there's Frostlinks and there's Aether Eye App? That's really weird. I kind of just like 
Icefall region here. Or I like Lifebane Zombie. Lifebane Zombie is great with Distended Mindbender. So is Messenger, though. Ooh. I think it's Zombie. Zombie's easier to cast. But he's also sideboardable. Like, we only have three lands to fix, so I'm not going to be going too ham on the... Uh... I like Warkite Marauder, actually. That card's good. I don't care about Tetsamok. I love you guys. I'm sorry. Maybe it's good, though. Maybe Tetsamok's better. All right. I don't like Tetsamok in... I didn't like Tetsamok in Constructed. Maybe it's great in Cube. I don't know. Like, maybe being able to be like, I'll target your Leshnorn and your Grave, Bains, your Grave Titan and then play my Tetsamok. Maybe that's good. I don't know. Kusha too? Six mana fat daddies all day. <sighs> I'm going to take out Opt. I think Opt is so underwhelming. I think we might just play the Tetsamok. I think this is the deck. I actually uh, am okay with all this. I'll board this guy in if he's relevant. Can you explain to me what a fat daddy means? Well, it basically means, uh... Damn, boy! He's thick! Boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! Kind of, something like that, kind of. <laughs> yeah, I see what you're doing right now, Alec Tears. I see what you're doing. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the... I think I'm just... Yeah, there it is. There it is. I'm waiting for the punchline. All right, we did it. So one, two, three, ten, two, six, seventy nine, ten, ten. I like ten ten. That's why I'm a big Kozilek fan. Ha <laughs> it's just god miserable. Why you guys watch this stream? It's the worst. In before Tetsamok makes it the thumbnail because he's so overpowered. And this is but okay, so for the complainers in the in the dra in the in the YouTube comments who are gonna be like Bad drafter. Uh, this is why we do play cards like Tetsamok because I didn't like him at first. I didn't like Crystal Shard, but I'm giving both of these cards a chance to see if maybe my perception is wrong. So I would highly advise you to do the same. Give it a chance. All that I'm saying is give Tetsamok a chance. Grouch86, thank you so much for the four month sub. I really appreciate it. I'm going to keep this hand. We got two things we can cast, and any blue source makes it. We actually have three things we can cast. I will assume we'll hit a fourth mana by turn four. Famous last words. Double blue card. Par for the course, Magic Online. Par for the course. Sower of Temptation is what we're going to draw next, just so you guys know. Oh, the old blue-black mirror match. Seems good. I will hope you don't have Disfigure. That's what we're going to... That's what we're hoping for here. Every kernel of knowledge part about Dr. Port needs to be followed by Suck It Nerd. <laughs> so this is why we play Tetsamok, because we want to try these cards out to see if they're as good, and maybe our initial perceptions... Uh, are not as uh, as well refined as we thought they were. Suck it, nerd. No blocks. Well, we did draw it, I guess. So that's a thing.
Here we go. Whoop. Oh my god, how? How even is this real life, guys? There's definitely days where you're like, nah, I probably shouldn't be streaming today. <laughs> Can I explain why I didn't block there? Warkite Marauder has text and it says... Whenever Warkite Marauder attacks, target creature defending player controls loses all abilities and has a base power toughness until 0-1. So, if I block the 2-1 with my 0-1, it dies. I'm going to gladly run a thing out into your Oblivion Stone, because right now it's a 2-2. Two, two two. Ah, and I it lost flying, so really the technical answer is because I cannot block it because it is it has flying. It doesn't have flying anymore. So my choice was not dictated by strategy, it was dictated by the rules of the game. I, I was no longer able to drop it. Block it. Thinking whatever. I don't have islands in my deck anyway. Then my opponent's like, look at this idiot playing Crystal Shard in his mono black deck. Hunter, you want a piece of crust? You want a, you want a, you want a pizza bone? There you go. Enjoy that. Wow, really? Aggressive. Huh. Oh my god, six six swamps, dude. Come on, dude. Can we just win with a pack rat? That's all the pizza I got for you, buddy. Those are all the bones. Oh, we're definitely making a rat in response to this. It's a little jam I just wrote. Look at this dude right here. Look at this stream buddy over here. I don't want a back seat, but you should probably put islands in your deck. I oh, okay. So you're just the better Esper deck now. I gotcha. I gotcha. You got you want you want another bone? You want another? A little pizza bone? Okay. There you go. Knock yourself out. Wow. Did they put a card on the bottom? They they left the they left the island on top of my deck? This is all very interesting. Uh, we don't have enough to swing for nine. We this this costs seven mana to awaken by itself. The land doesn't untap, so we only have seven mana. We have a lot of options. We could also just cyclonic rift, let them do whatever they want. Sets them back a little bit. I mean, I think it's probably better to just cast never on Jace. Keep a rat up.
Like, I want all the cards in my hand. So. The problem is I want to keep all the cards in my hand as of right now. Like, I want to be able to keep up Essence Scatter in case they do something ridiculous, like a Grave Titan or something. I guess we can actually get rid of Essence Scatter. You definitely get rid of that. God, if they have their own Cyclonic Rift, though. Sphinx for four? Okay. That's better than Cyclonic Rift. I'm a little afraid of Cyclonic Rift at the moment, but... We could give Hunter Ice Cubes and pretend he's Mike. That is true. This is a very intense game. They have Sphinx of Relation and Jason Mind Sculptor. Come on. Where is your Oblivion Stone now? Well, I'll just get it back from the graveyard. Oh, that was bad. I thought we were going to end step for some reason. I was like, yeah, I'll do it now. I mean, now he's got... Now he can do whatever he wants. Maybe I want them to do that, though, so we can riff. I don't know. Oh, we just win the game. They just don't have an answer for the extra two pack rats. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Draw all swamps. Pack rat wins us the game in a modern queue. Okay, sure. Seems fun. <laughs> so what do we see? We saw... Reflector Mage, Oblivion Stone... Smuggler's Copter, War Kite Marauder. Lifebane Zombie could be good. We saw at least one creature, one white creature. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Um, yeah, I like Lifebane Zombie here. It also it also threatens their their guys. Crystal Shard might not be great here. Cape, do we just turn to pack rat? <laughs> oh god. Just run it out there.
Get him! I'm gonna get him! I'm gonna get a little pack rat. I don't care about that at all. So we're just going to make a rat here. Next time we can sew her the golem if we want to. I don't know if that's great, but it's a thing we can do. It's funny because this is such an innocuous little Ravnica rare, Return to Ravnica rare, but like, is there a scarier card in Magic than just a pack rat on the board? Like, we're definitely going to never... Never the Sower. Never the Sower. What the hell does that mean? Also, Puppeteer Click getting back Sower of Temptation is pretty legit. That's a good series of plays. Why don't you attack with Blade Splicer there? That's a total Blade Splicer block if I ever saw one. Get my rat back, you jerk. Like, is there a scarier card to have someone go turn to this guy and then untap with pack and then untap with three mana? And you're like, oh, well, I feel disheartened now. They're also, they have no black mana this game, which is interesting. Were they, is black their splash? I have two cards in hand? All right. Well, I feel comfortable with our, our rat. What's our rat situation here? I feel like it's just Solemn Simulacrum here. And then next time we can discard two things or play two three drops or what have you. And I will easily block with this guy. Such easy blocks. Something. Ooh. Pack rats naturally get stronger. Oh, I see. Rude. Oh, wow. <laughs> huh. For seven mana, huh? I have no cards in hand. I think we just have to get rid of the Jace right now. Seems good. Make sure the uh, Bane Slayer doesn't have haste. Unfortunately, it does not, but Sower of Temptation will deal with it pretty well. Immortal Sun does get rid of Jace as well, but I just want him off the board. I, I guess Immortal Sun probably would have been the, a, a reasonable play. That's actually a good point. Yeah, come to think of it, I actually kind of like Immortal Sun a little better. It just lets Jay sit there like an idiot. Hunter, you're ruining the 
You can't you can't be over here. You're ruining the, the magic of the green screen. Dang cuties. Hmm. That actually seems fine. I'm not really I, I'm glad you played that now instead of after we played Sower, so that's pretty good. I take nine here. Ugh. It's not great. Why no immortal sun? LOL. I don't understand what that means. Oh. Interesting. That was a, an interesting attack. I actually think we might just play Vampire. Actually, I think we're fine with keeping up Supreme Will. It <laughs> means lots of love. Nice. I like it. Oh, uh, I feel... Okay, about taking six here. I'll go to three. I have a Bane Slayer Angel. <laughs> I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> Give me a land so I can do lots of lovely things. No? No land? Okay. Go back to eight. Feels good. Mr. Tasty, three months in a row. Thank you for the resub, man. Appreciate it. I'm pretty sure I'm comfortable trading a Nighthawk for a duplicate. That is totally fine. Oh, all right. Intriguing. I do like digging with Will here because I just don't think it's going to actually do much for us at this point. What if we make two rats, though? They're going to go to five, and then we're going to have two rats. So they're going to be at five automatically. That means they have to double block, right? Or what if we play sun? Five, six, seven, they take, they go to three, and they literally still have to block both rats. Yeah, both rats are lethal. And we get to go to 12 here, and they only have first strike golem, so that's pretty good. Boy, rat's doing some work, man. I think we're just going to play this. We get to draw two cards next turn, so I'd rather just have the mana. And Cyclonic Rift it is. Yeah, did I say first strike golem? I meant regular golem. My bad. Got him. All right, sweet. I like it. Are we gonna? Do we want to change something? I crystal shard was like it just feels too slow in the cube. 
Maybe it's me? This card feels great. It feels like a quicker crystal shard. I'm going to give it a chance. I'll leave it in for one more match. But I tell you something, crystal shard. If you don't pull your weight around here, you're hitting the bricks. Mono black finished 1-2, unfortunately. Uh, we drew a ton of lands, like 12 lands, 4 spell hands, stuff like that. Uh, I think the deck was good. I think if we drew a little more action, we could have competed, but we got actually pretty close, too. Right, it's good with my own stuff, too, but the problem is I'm talking about speed, right? So if I'm having to bounce my own 4 or 5 drop by paying 1 mana and then replaying it for 4 or 5 mana, like it's still slow. It doesn't change the speed. Right, like if I'm bouncing a Solemn, like I, I, I don't feel like I'm, there's many games where I have uh, the opportunity to to bounce my four mana creature and then replay it. This hand actually seems very good. Essence Scatter for one, or we can sacrifice Barrel to cost to, for this guy to cost five. <laughs> Grave Dead. Grave Dad. Snore Crash. What's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. Bits and Shrimp Cat. Seems like a fair trade for some good magic. I, you said fun. I said good. I don't know why. Oh, Supreme Will and Essence Scatter. Like it. What's going on, everybody? They didn't play anything? That's pretty okay. Well, we had a good run, guys. We had a good run. We probably should have probably should have supreme willed for land there, I guess, but you know. What are you gonna do? Actually we can still do that, I guess. And keep a best in scanner. The, just slumming it here. Oh, there's always a rush. I always want to hit my land drops, especially when I have multiple things that cost five in hand. God, please leave. Never come back. Oh, and we get to loot here too. That's pretty good. Discard Puppeteer Click. I like Click because we can get back Rekindling Phoenix, but that's just literally four damage. It's not super exciting. <sighs> now we can still get it back, I guess. I just got pretty comical comments on YouTube that I, I chose to respond to. Someone said, did he just pick Metamorph instead of Shell Dock Isle? I think they're actually joking though. They have a P face at the end of one. 
I like sacking Scarab God to Mindbender because then uh, it only costs two mana and we just get it back. That's a good deal. We could sack this guy to Mindbender, but I'd rather just play Scarab God here. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe Mindbender's better there. I don't know. I kind of like having Barrel on board, though. So... Drawing three puts us, like, two cards away from... Oh, God, every time. Every time. Had you mind-bendered, you would be able to play around that boo. Whatever. Never had luck with Sheldock Isle, but it's right there. It's got a free spell underneath it. We get to cast a Grave Titan at some point for free. <laughs> well, three lands and a Batter Skull. Good for us. And if we play this last turn, we could have hit Oblivion Ring Batter Skull, which is pretty insane. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Unheard of. Fantastic. Just fantastic. You can't counter it because it gets count your counter gets countered because of Kira. That's not how magic works. <laughs> Suck out your kitchen table. Wow. Well, you're, so your draws were literally chained to the rocks from Stone Ball. You're doing well for yourself here. I am impressed. So you can see how good this is now when they have 17 mana to use and we just have utterly nothing. I guess we can just cast this guy for free. I'm just going to eat them all. Don't you know you've got to eat the mauler? We could have, we could have, uh, we could have also played so or stolen the mauler, but yeah, we still stolen the mauler and then, then soul bonded. But I think keeping so for something better is good. We could have just bounced it, I guess. I don't know. Lots of options here. See, I'd rather steal that. Or we can just bounce that forever. No, we can't. Never mind. That's not how that works. I don't know. I don't actually shadows. I don't actually think I was right. I don't think I was hundred percent right there. Like I think there are definitely arguments for both of those plays. Plus, like if we stole this guy, we could always just bounce our own sower and then re re steal this. Like I don't think that's like it, it gives us a way to do both. You know what I mean? Sure. 
Sure. Oh, that's the end. All right. Lifebane zombie coming in again. Crystal Shard can leave again. We'd love to bring in a Disenchant, but uh, we don't have a mana base that really allows that. I guess we can add one Plains and a Solemn Simulacrum. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. Sand seems fine. Level up vent might be good, actually. Are you Tim, Tim, are you saying never mind because it's too late or because you changed your mind? Because I always get confused by that. If someone's like, never mind, maybe I'm like, oh, did you realize that it's not good for some reason? Or did you just not want to further press because the time has passed? I can't tell. Okay, too late. I get that. It still could be good, though. Like, we could actually still board it in. We did see uh, Lightning Mauler. We saw Silverblade Paladin. This this card, for example. I think it's actually very good. I think that was a good suggestion. I need some advice. I'm in a real pickle here. So I have this friend, and every time he plays Magic Online, he decides to show me extra cards before scooping. How do I approach him on the subject? Uh <laughs> oh, man. I can't tell if I did that and you're referring to me. Are you referring to me? Did I do that? That's a lot of damage, actually. Six damage. Woo. What did I show them? I am friends with Epco. Does that mean I might have a top three board game? Um... Oh, my opponent did that. What did they play? What did they do? Oh, they just cast Silverblade Paladin, and then they were like, all right, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> A classic. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, this is actually 10 damage. I'm feeling very bad about this situation. Actually, we can block here. Never mind. I'm, I'm stupid. I'm not a smart magic player. And then we can murder a scout. We're actually okay. Unless they get rid of this because they have a million ways to do it. Brimstone Volley, Chain to the Rocks, Oblivion Ring. Or we're just going to go to combat, which is also just fine. Sure. Aggressive. And that's less so. Less less aggressive, as you can imagine. They have Avacyn. We're just going to kill this guy now. Shock the monkey. Big pupperinos. Yeah, sure, we'll we'll soul bond. They have two cards. It's possible for us to stabilize. We get to block one of their dudes, go to three. And then they get the Brimstone Valia, so that's unfortunate, but, you know, magic's hard. I 
And that'll do it. All right, cool. Let's get rid of Tetsamok. I don't feel like having infinite five mana, six mana guys, ten mana guys. Silent Departure also seems very good here. Puppeteer Click has not been that impressive. I don't think Vizier has been either, to be quite honest, unfortunately. Uh, I'd almost rather have a Kokusho. Is there anything else cheap that we like? Eh, I guess it's fine. I don't want to play Porcelain Legionnaire. I don't want to be taking two life just to... Uh, just to have them kill it with like a magma jet. Then I'm just doing their job for them. I'll keep this hand. Ten mana. Just I just addressed the legionnaire issue. Cause then it's like basically their their magma jet went to my face anyway. Chandra's Phoenix. Boros Reckoner. Give me a Ruinous Path so I can actually kill this Boros Reckoner without having to waste a Murderous Cut. Dang it. So we can level this guy up to one. It's not great. I also don't want to just get rid of this, but it's probably fine, right? I don't want to go to 12 here. We look, if the ambition's costing me Boros Reckoner, like we just die. But we do want to actually draw lands to hit Grave Titan. If we hit a black mana next turn, I guess we have a turn. We can also play this guy and then keep up Cyclonic Rift to just bounce the Reckoner. What are the odds they kill us? I don't know, relatively high, I guess. See, this way if they kill this guy, we can actually still murderous cut the Reckoner. That's pretty good. If we draw a black, we can actually just kill this Hero of Oxidage right now, which is pretty insane. Land, 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 land! Any land, any land. Yes! Gas, dude. See, now we're talking. Now we got, now we got gasoline, boys. That's a good one. That's a good card. All right, intensity. We know they have a Reckoner in hand and three other cards. Okay. One, two, three, four. Actually, oh, this is pretty good. I like this a lot. Oh, we're one mana shy, actually. 
much does this guy cost? One, so it costs six. Dang it, we're so sh we're so shy. I think all these things. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> Level up, please. I'm gonna hope you don't have a, a hasty guy. We know you have chicken. And we know you have Boros Reckoner in hand. All right, we're gonna play both. Seems good. It's actually pretty insane. I'm feeling the pressure and I'm at nine life. It's really weird. <laughs> this guy gives negative four, negative four though, which is pretty bonkers. Sure. They have one card in hand. All right. We don't have to take anything, right? Can't we just trade birds? Can't we just kill this guy? Why would we? How's Reckoner pain? We just give it negative four, negative four, right? Am I missing something? Unless your last card is like something just utterly ridiculous. I don't understand. I feel like we come out ahead here. And now we can just untap and kill the chicken. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is just great, actually. Yeah, I'm just going to kill this guy. Not going to mess around here. Uh, we can never get our bird back. We don't have a bird in our graveyard. We just have a vizier. I mean, if you have Avacyn, you have Avacyn. I'm not going to attack into an Avacyn, though, and we'll just take four. We'll take three. All right. Well, now I'm probably gonna more inclined to attack because I only have one card in hand. All right. Six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That is fine. Those are all fine. All right. We did good. <laughs> Hatches into an Aldrazi. Uh, I mean, it costs zero, so we still have to emerge it for seven, but... Pretty sure we just play Pack Rat here.
Oh, they have no cards in hand? Okay, never mind. I was actually, I was taking way too long to play there. Um, if they have no cards in hand, I don't actually care. Really? Did you just draw an X-Spell? Oh, that's fine. Oh, we just win. All right. Sounds good. Our deck is doing pretty well. Uh, how do you guys feel about the Crystal Shard? I don't feel great about it. I'll be honest with you. I'd rather have a more proactive card. I think even Silent Departure is better because it guarantees you bounce the guy. Negative four, negative four seems decent pretty much anywhere. This card was pretty ridiculous. I was impressed. I'm just going to bring in Silent Departure. The old resolve batter skull concede a risky move, but I think I think it did work out for them because um, every part of that plan was completed to fruition. So you know, can't complain. We have to hit play. I thought we were reading the sideboard. I'm like, oh, I guess we got to hit play. All right, cool. Uh, Shard seems good with Sower. Doesn't it also seem good with Riffling Cloud Skate or Glenlinch Archmage or Vizier of Many Faces? Like, can we all, aren't those all bounceable cards that you get value out of bouncing? Puppeteer Collect even, I would say. I don't know. I think Ghoul is fine, but I think there are some decks that it's probably not great against. Maybe it's better than Silent Departure. I don't know. I think that's I think it's really I think it's really 50-50 there. Well, I guess we'll find out. The sand is good. See, if this is a ghoul, we can play him on turn one, and if we had nothing, we're not gonna, we're never gonna level him up over uh, an essence scatter, though, you know. Uh, we are currently not at three hundred subs, but time to just bounce this idiot. But we got essence scanner, so whatever. All right. Well, here we go again, ladies and gentlemen. Wish this was an instant. Tin Man with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, dude. And we're going to miss a land drop here, so that's cool. Man, you guys are amazing. This is the most generous channel ever. Literally ever, just so you guys know. Sure. Yep. Having a good time. Or maybe we're not. Even if we play Hippie, they can just not play anything on their turn to flip their Huntmaster. 
I guess we can bounce it then. That's pretty good. I'm just done. I have no desire to play a game where they have Huntmaster, Elvish Mystic, and we can't even hit a third land drop. Unbelievable. In before we never see a blue source. <laughs> Tin Man with the sub to Sarcastatron. Thank you so much, man. Oh my god, you can't you can't just keep doing this. Uh Cryptologist is definitely not that. Like it takes a lot of mana to do. Eh, well, next time we get to kill their elf, which is pretty sweet. Not attacking, though. I don't hate... Like, don't get me wrong. I don't hate Cryptologist. I just think it's a lot more fragile and a lot more mana intensive than... Uh, than it should be. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure that our prediction has been correct. How is this real? <laughs> hey, did you, how did your deck do? Oh, we went 2-1 because the last round we literally either couldn't draw lands or could only draw one color of lands. So, you know, pretty standard. Hey, look at that. It is actually an island. It is an island in our deck. Look at that. Magic Online's going to glitch and it's just going to show all swamps. I'm sorry, the Matrix isn't functioning well today. Right, so okay, let's look at that situation, right? Like, it, it, it doesn't seem so wasted when your opponent is killing an 0-1 with a spell that could kill something more significant, right? But you've also put in an 0-1 instead of something more significant, right? So the only reason they're able to kill something less significant and an 0-1 is because you literally put the 0-1 in place of the more significant card, right? So in the situation where they have the removal, sure, they're killing an 0-1 and you didn't have the more significant card. But in the case of the more significant card, you're actually forcing them to have removal at that point. That is my theory on that. Scarab God seems really good against the mono green deck. Do millennials get the Matrix jokes? I don't know. Probably. That movie's... That movie's old as time, right? Aronis. Okay. Well, I kind of want to sew her that guy. Is that a thing I can do? I just... Opponent just said, good luck, have fun. Well, two mana, two mana, two mana. Okay. I almost feel like it's just right to pump this guy up to a 4-4. Four, four. I think we're scarab godding here. At least next turn we can get uh, Solemn Simulacrum back. And it looks like they're missing a color, so that's pretty good. Freezing your kills is basically the same as going to the laundromat, right? Um, Connor Ryan, I'm going to say... Sure. Tin Man, 50 bucks straight. I'm serious about various stuff and things, and if it's not possible for reasons that... Then you deserve it anyway, and I will give what I want so that... What? What? 
Serious about various stuff? What does that mean? Did I miss something? Hey Frank, just a random person that watches your YouTube videos. You are literally, literally, and figuratively, the only person I watch for MTG content mostly because I can't stand anyone else. Thanks for the amazing content and keep up the great work. Don't let anyone get to... 42 no, no Nonsense. Thank you so much. Non, or 42 Nonsense, rather. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. I'm going to take five here. I do not feel like... Uh, I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait to recast this old Scarab God. That's from uh, Dawson's Creek. You guys, I think. Or like... Like One, one Tree Hill, maybe. I don't know. Such a real MTG love. I am a fan. Yes. Get an island. Check your Discord when you're not busy. What do you got? What's what's going on over here? We'll chat. We'll chat. Uh, I don't think I want this rat. We'll chat. I don't want this rat. Leave rat. Never come back. Give me a land. I'll take a land here. I'll I'll accept. I would have preferred an untapped land so that I could actually kill this stupid plant token, but... Is it rude to say other good magic creators in chat to 42 Nonsense? No, not at all. I, I would never begrudge someone of... Uh, So we get to eat a wall of roots here. That's pretty cool when they have three lands. So, good deal. God, you guys are making me cringe with all the 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 use of the word millennials in here. Oof. This guy doesn't have trample, right? How big is... Oh, this is just an O4. Wait. Hold, yeah, okay. It's just an O... Uh, six again, huh? Can I just steal this? What's this clip? I'm playing. Oh my god. <laughs> why are you just why are you just doing this? Um do I care? Do I just want this Psalm Smacker to die so I can get a thing? No, I guess no blocks. They're on three lands. I don't think that's actually scary. We also we can just kill this guy again. Do we want a wall of roots? No, I don't think so. I think we want to just keep up. Uh... Seven. This is eight. Yeah, we'll put that on the top. It lets us play. It lets us activate Scarab God and cast like Sower of Temptation. So that's pretty good. But we're not going to do that because we are going to. Um... Yeah, I guess we are. We're going to kill this guy and steal this guy. And they just regenerate, but we do kill the Nissa. I don't think we care about the Nissa that much. No one online is as, as consistent as Frank at the moment. That's an, that's an insanely good compliment. That's great to hear. That's what I want. I want consistency. Every day at 11 a.m. Eastern and 9 p.m. Eastern, I have new videos going up on YouTube. And at 5 p.m. Eastern, I have a stream highlight going up. So hopefully you guys appreciate those. But um, I think this went well. I like all the cards in our deck. I think the run is a little obnoxious. A little hard to deal with as well. Actually, I can't really bounce him with that. Thorn is not a fun card. 
Thrun is not fun. Oh, Cyclonic Rift seems good against them, but they're faster than we are, so. Did you just millennial explain the chat, Alan? <laughs> you all know, you all kind of use them. You're the brother of the Trinity. Actually, I agree with you. That is true. I Yeah, I think I think you guys are thinking of... Um, it's not millennial. What's the other term? The younger term. No, we drew five lands, so every every card after this will be a land, hence the land. So, you know. Right, yeah. See, the shadows, you get it. It will get flooded. I like it when they attack with Pilgrim, because it means there's nothing else there. But there's something else there. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. All right, cool. Keep it, if you keep a five lane hand, you're guaranteed at least two more lands on the top of your deck. This has been a well known thing for Magic Online for years, literal years. Okay. If we can take six hits from this guy, we can actually Cyclonic Rift. Four hits? I don't know. Yeah. All right, cool. <sighs> Is it a really is it really a highlight to ice fall out of someone's mouth? When it's hilarious? I think so, yeah. I mean that's literally a blooper, right? Like that's a that's a should I call them stream bloopers instead? Well, I'm not gonna cast one pack rat here. Although this could get out of hand next turn. All right. Well, I guess we'll just have to settle for two one. I don't feel I don't foresee us winning against turn three th turn three Theron again. So I want to poke your homunculus straight in its big eye. Hmm. Huh. Mitch's follies. <laughs> Oh, yeah, not terrible. We can, I think we can work with that. Yeah, we can, we can still not block here. My, my problem with all in on pack rat right now is that we can only make one next turn and then I guess we can make two after that which makes them four fours so we have to that's interesting wow good lord Would it be wrong to rift Thrun? We can't rift Thrun. He has he has hex proof. Yeah, this seems like a that seemed like a weird play. I guess they maybe have three spells they want to resolve and like. Primeval Titan. Sell those conscripts. Oh boy. Interesting. Well, we have to chump block now. That's annoying. Two rats. Next turn we can rift, I guess. We're not dead is really the important part here.
the problem is they have zealous conscripts, right? So like if we bounce everything, I don't know what to block here with. So if we bounce their stuff, like they can just replay zealous conscripts and probably kill us, which is really bad. I guess I just hope you don't have something like earthquake. I don't know. It's going to be Planeswalker. Reclamation Sage. Okay. Okay. Well, we can make two more rats here. I think we just make two more rats here. And then we have five fives? And then if we draw land, we just win with Cyclonic Rift. Oh my god. Hey, Frank, just want to say I love your content. First time catching you streaming all normally watch on YouTube, day job. Yeah, I totally understand. I understand day job problems. Thank you so much for saying so, Recon Bravo team. Oh god, they're gonna they're gonna crater hoof. That's their last card. Seriously, dude. We didn't play the land because we wanted to make two rats and then Cyclonic Rift. We're trying to win the next turn. Like, if they don't have this, we win. We have five blockers for their five guys. Like, the plan is to play this, play this, rat, rat, draw land, Cyclonic Rift. If we play the land, the only way we survive with our six creatures and our four blockers is to discard this. We don't get to the end of the turn. That's the problem. If we play a land, we have two cards in hand. We can't survive to rift at the end of the turn because we only have three creatures. So if they alpha with the treetop village, we die. We do not have the luxury of playing a land and rifting at the end of the turn and surviving to the end of the turn. If we rift on attack, then they just replay their board again. The, the point is we're trying to win, not not lose. We're trying to win. If we make two rats this turn... We have 25 power on board. Or uh, 20, uh, yeah, 25 power. Which is enough to rift on our turn and then kill them with rats. So, what are you going to do? 42 Nonsense. Nothing but positive energy to send you. I really appreciate the efforts you put into streaming, rec recording, and posting your content. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. That is awesome, dude. Thank you. I don't know what to do here. I think we can actually maybe survive. We can't survive. I think we're dead, but. So 987, what is that, 17, 24, we can block, not a lot. Yep, cool. <sighs> Good times, super infuriating, unfortunately, but uh, what are you gonna do? Thank you guys so much for watching, really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.